Okay, as you can see, I have my cargo rack put on here. Instead of leaving that long bar, you know, that goes into your receiver hitch, I took it out. And I elected to put me some little pieces of two inch uh, steel pipe in here. <clears throat> you could probably buy two inch nipples from the hardware store, <clears throat> excuse me, in the plumbing section to, uh, you know, put in here. Or you could do like the uh, camper companies do, and they just push this together and use shorter nuts and bolts. And then they shorten this piece right here and they drill a new hole to fit through there. But instead of doing all that, I just selected to put short pieces of pipe in there so I can retain my 53 inches because that would bring it down to 51 inches. So we're all good there. And then of course it's bolted down through the frame. Let's go on the inside of the trailer and take a quick look on the inside. power. I got all my lights on. Let's start with the slow pan around the camper. I have my mattress out right now. I was uh, doing some work on the inside. And what I do is I just kind of give y'all a slow pan around on the inside again. And um, you can see I have my two Blue LEDs there, and of course, this one up here. I'll oh, shut that back a little bit. They're on dimmers. And of course, that's a headboard down there. And this would be the passenger side wall. It has some really nice nuts in it, kind of like bird's eye maple, but it's maple. Not very of course, another locking window with a screen, tinted glass, and a drain holder. You can keep the damp rid in here in the wintertime. You see right there in the corner, there's a little bit of water in there. And sucking the moisture out of here. And then you look over here at the front. Making some excessive noise because I, I don't have the jacks down. But I've got my control panel up here. With uh, it shows how many, uh, you know, with the charges on the battery, and then second shelf is just junk like bug spray. And I got a solar controller there. I have to hook up, and then I have a jump box down here. I'm using for my electricity for right now until I get a big AGM battery. And of course my uh, 6000 BTU AC and this is just a empty bucket right here I used to sit on while I'm working inside the camper and uh, I guess I could use that to keep uh, you know, more camping gear in. And then I have a little 4x6 easy up right there. And the big bag is a new uh, a new lawn chair. We have two of those for my wife and I. And of course, our um, Max Air fan, 10 speed and reversible. You can run that thing on low all night long. It won't hardly make any noise. And it does the job, keeps the humidity out of here when you're running the heater. That's it on the inside, other than, let's see, I have four of those hooks, one there. One over here, then one on that side, and one behind me. That was loaded up with junk. Here's the other one. And I won't spin it all the way back around because they all look the same. The movie up here close and let you look at the door locks. so you can't open it from inside or outside but you have to be careful when you're outside that you don't bump this with your knuckle like I have done several times because then you'll lock yourself out you'll have to take the uh, screws up 